How's it going guys? Today we'll be giving you an in-depth look at the new PlayCare panel. The PlayCare panel, or PC panel, is our take on back panels based on the strap system we came up with for our PlayCare pack. The PlayCare panel allows you to build the back panel or small pack system you truly need, attach it to a PlayCare or chest rig, and access it yourself. In this video we'll be going over what the PC panel is, its features, setting it up, using it, and some best practices. So why a strap system instead of a zipper system? The main issue with most back panels in the industry is that they limit who can access the contents to just those around you. If that is all you need, that is perfectly fine, but if you would like to access those items yourself, this is where the issue arises. Now, why a basic slick molly panel? There are a lot of good bags and panels out there, but what a slick canvas like this allows you to do is create the back panel or small pack for your niche purpose. You can take a number of different pouches to create the panel you need, or augment a small pack you have that lacks additional pouches or features you otherwise want. With all that out of the way, let's get into the features. The PlayCare panel features a Tegris Thermal Plastic mounting panel for heavier items and pouches, a reverse laminate mounting panel for additional pouches on the inner side, laminate wrapped handle for transportation, padded stretch shoulder pads for comfort, a dual adjustment shoulder strap for use on a carrier or on a standalone pack, compression strap ports to integrate compression straps for packs that lack them, and an included mounting hardware kit. When you order the PlayCare panel, you'll receive the panel, of course, a set of pads, a set of straps, and a hardware mounting kit consisting of a T-bar, webbing, molly adapter, a set of male snap-on buckles, and a set of female snap-on buckles. This kit comes disassembled as it is up to you which side of the panel you'd like to have facing outward or inward, and the setup is fairly simple. To get started setting this up, we first need to decide what we'll be carrying on the panel and what pouches we need to achieve this. Then we need to decide which side will get certain attachments. An easy rule of thumb is that heavier items should be attached to the Tekra side, as this is the stiffer structural side, better suited for heavy loads. And the lighter items should be mounted to the laminate side. We typically set up the panel with the Tekra side outward and the fabric inward. As for color pattern and exposed Tekra, these matter less, as the purpose of this panel is to have pouches covering its entire surface, but if that is not required for you, then take into consideration that the Tegracite is a higher abrasion resistant material and is a better choice against your plate carrier if you only need one side to be attached and weight is not a priority. On the panel, you have six columns across and 12 rows down on each side. Pouches can be mounted on both sides without interfering with each other's mounting as long as you pass all the straps between the two layers. The mounting slots were made larger on the Tegris as Tegris is inflexible, making older style pouches with snaps much more difficult to attach. You will probably need a tool to assist you to get through there. Um, bending the Tegris can also make this easier to attach these pouches, um, but more modern pouches with tuck style tabs and Velcro style tabs will be much easier to attach to this panel. Since pouches can be mounted on both sides of the panel and one side must face inward against the plate bag or your own back, we recommend that inner pouches are flat and as featureless as possible for comfort's sake. When used with a plate carrier, this matters less, but when used on a chest rig or as a pack with nothing else on the back, some pouches might have a face that would become uncomfortable or create any friction spots. We recommend pouches that don't have molly or even velcro or any other sorts of ridges on them to prevent uh, potential snags on a carrier or friction spots on your back. Now let's get started putting this thing together. For this demo, we'll have the Tegris be our outer side. First, let's mount our shoulder straps by taking the laminate end and the buckle end, having them facing up and passing it through our ring point there, and then taking the laminate end and routing it through the back of this buckle. Once that's through, you'll go ahead and pass that through the front hole. You'll do the same thing to the other side. Once that's complete, you'll go ahead and take the split bar female from the lower strap and attach it to this laminate port on the front. Now we can take our shoulder straps and take the foam side, having it face down, and slide it over this assembly.
Once that's set up, we can go ahead and slide onto the bottom port and take our lower straps. Now with these, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the face of the buckle is facing outward so that your adjustment bar is facing the way you want it to. You're gonna go ahead and take this part and you're going to make a triangle arrow shaped loop like that. Now, depending on which side you choose, you'll have to make sure that the orientation is correct. So for this, we're basically going to insert this into our slot and then pass all of this through that arrowhead. You're gonna make sure that that is fully tightened down and that the orientation is correct. Now, do the same thing to the other side. Once that is complete, you can either attach this to your carrier or simply just plug up your shoulder straps like that. Now let's prep our carrier to accept the PC panel straps. Take the snap-on males and attach them to either the shoulder strap or a vertical uh, quasim webbing that you might have on your carrier. For us, we have slots on our shoulder straps, so we're just going to pass this on through there and then snap it on. You'll do the same thing to the other side, and then for the cummerbund, we'll go ahead and take our female snap-on and just pass it through one of the loops on our cummerbund. Uh, if you don't have any loops on your cummerbund, you can use um, any loops you might have on some industry standard placards out there that have a loop on the front. You'll do this same thing for any chest rigs out there that'll have vertical uh, webbing on the shoulder straps and any attachment points that are horizontal on the sides. While the Arc Carrier is designed specifically for our products such as the Play Care Pack or Play Care Panel, there are other carriers out there that aren't designed with this in mind necessarily. Here we have a JPC 2.0, and we want to demonstrate a number of ways that you can set up the buckles so that it will work with your carrier. Here we have the male snap-on buckle attached to the webbing loop that attaches their female buckle for placards. And you can do the same thing with any quasim webbing on other carriers that is a bit more exposed. This one will require a tool to kind of finesse that buckle onto that strap. If you have standard molly on the front, you can use that as well with the included T-bar mount. And all you gotta do is loop that through and then snap the buckle to the loop that exposes itself on the top. Please note that this will only work on standard one and a half inch wide molly, as some carriers have larger push and talk loops on the flanks that will be too big for this T-bar to actually act as a stopper there. Now that we have both the panel and the carrier prepped, we will get the panel size properly to the user. Start with attaching the shoulder straps first and examine if the ride height is correct. When you look at this from the side view, you should see that this should not be laying this high, but rather the handle should be around the top of the plate bag. So to make this adjustment, we're just going to pop off our shoulder strap, pull the pad off, cinch this a bit so that it opens up and gives us extra length. You can go ahead and test that without the shoulder strap and see if that sits where you want it to. Make the same change to the other side. Once you have that confirmed, you can go ahead and put your shoulder straps back on. Now that we have our upper shoulder straps and pads set up, we'll now move on to the sides. The sides are simple as you're simply just going to attach this. Now a few tips we have is try to keep this elastic keeper all the way to the front when doing adjustments. And once you have a solid adjustment set up, you can go ahead and retain that extra strap by pushing that keeper to the rear. You should try to make any coarse adjustments um, with this unclip, so take a guess at what it'll be, and then clip it in and then tighten in as necessary. Another thing is you're gonna want your buckle to be as far forward as possible so that you can actually access them well and make adjustments easier than if they were further back. So we're gonna guess that it's this. You'll clip it in, slide your elastic keeper to the front, Tighten it down as you're wearing it as needed, and then push your elastic keeper at the back to retain all that excess weapon. You'll then do the same thing to the other side by simply, again, hooking it in, making any adjustments necessary, and then retaining that excess strap. When using the plate care panel in the field, a rifle with a sling will most likely be present and can interfere with successful operation of the rifle and panel if not properly accounted for. 
When donning, accessing or ditching the panel, we recommend swimming your arm out of your sling and allowing the rifle to hang from the neck. When donning the panel, start with the upper straps, then attach the side straps. Confirm the tightness and then swim your arm back through your sling. When accessing your panel yourself, remove your arm from the side and disconnect only one side of the buckles starting with the side buckle. Afterward, disconnect the top buckle but maintain control of the strap as you swing the panel to your front. Once done, grab the upper strap and swing it around to the back and clip it followed by the side strap and reset the sling. While the panel is being accessed, the user can respond to threats or other incidents by letting go of the panel as it is still clipped in at two points. Use of the rifle is also feasible as the sling is still around the neck and not obstructed by the panel straps. When removing the panel, the user should swim their arm out from under the sling to prevent possible snagging, but does not need to as the panel can fall or be pulled off by the user. For carriers and chest rigs like the Arc Carrier and Arc Chest Rig, the entire system can be easily released without the panel straps obstructing anything. This is not the case for most other load bearing systems out there. This concludes our brief walkthrough of the Plate Care panel. These should go live on Friday, May 5th, and if you're watching this afterward, then it's already live on the site. If you have any questions on the Plate Care panel, setups, what it's compatible with, or any other questions, feel free to comment below, DM us on Instagram, or email us at customerservice at shaw-concepts.com. With that said, thanks for your time and conquer all.